I'm actually here because I, I, I have the urgency. I want to tell you something very important. And I don't want to sound like some kind of Christian, you know, who's like going to preach anything. But, but I think that if you are going to engage anyone, if you are going to uh, take anyone's attention, borrow it from them for a little bit, it should be worthwhile, right? 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 Okay, very good. Can we make this place sound a little bit more like the British Parliament? You know, like, uh, yeah. right? Very good, very good. When I was younger, I encountered a very interesting definition of, um, of life. Um, and the definition, or at least a part of the definition, was that life is the ability to react to stimuli. Therefore, me being a manically depressed teenager, I came to the conclusion that, well, you know, then maybe if, you know, that's the definition of life, then life itself or its quality or the purpose of it must be somehow related to the quality and the quantity of stimuli I not only receive, but also give to other people. And that has stuck with me for quite a while now, since I was manic depressed in 15. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm in the music business, because I actually believe that, for me personally, it's hard currency, you know? You make a person smile, you make a person laugh, a person comes up to you and says, you know what, I really like that song. For me, it's really worth something. And um, to be honest, and actually I was going to say that afterwards, but because I'm a bit, you know, I'm more used to playing music than to talking, I'm going to say it right now. Uh, I actually think that that kind of currency is what will get you into heaven, if there is such a heaven. I don't think that St. Peter will look at your bank account and say, hey, listen, oi, you've done really well. <laughs> but I think in my case, and hopefully, I think that's what probably someone up there would have wanted me to do, is to pass around some positive energy. Pass around some positive energy. Now, to make this a bit easier for myself, and it'd be really nice, oh, is that, I only have 10 minutes left, are you serious? Okay, I'll be quick, look, uh, I brought some cumbia music around. There, I love cumbia. You don't have to dim the lights, it's all right. I'm not going to do a sexy dance. Uh, the sexy dance is for later. I love cumbia. Cumbia is what we call a melting pot genre of music. You have African rhythms, you have European structures, and you have, you also have pre-Columbian indigenous elements as well. Now, if you listen to that long enough, it will make you move. If you listen to that long enough, it will make you feel. And I can even turn it off and you will hear it somewhere in your subconscious. That's because music, it has metaphysical powers. It does. Now, continuing what I wanted to say. I got into music because I love it. And I think it's much more than something to just be sold in boxes. Did you hear what I said? That it's much more than something to simply be sold in boxes. mean to sell your music in a box? Well, I'd like you to think about it a little bit because if you think about the music you love, you probably have it in a box. You probably have it in a box. Now raise your hand if you don't have it in a CD, in your iPod, on a piece of vinyl. Where do you have it then? Where do you have that music if it's not on your iPod and your CDs? It's in your heart. And music, it can do that to you. It can heal. Music is much more than something to simply be sold in boxes. It has a metaphysical power, as I mentioned. Let me, let me continue. I'm sorry, that's all wrong. to buy. 
boxes is quite simple. It's there, not for your listening enjoyment, or maybe it is. But mostly it's because us musicians, we need to live. It's true, we need to make a living. I mean, if I was go going to go up to you and I said, listen, I'm going to give you some metaphysical positiveness. What, are you going to wire that money back to my account somehow? I've given, I've sung happy birthday songs for people and they say, you know, that was worth a million dollars. I say, really? <laughs> but we need to sell this music. But the problem is that music is something that transcends these boxes that we are selling them in. I'll give you a very good example, and I'm very lucky to have married an Irish woman. This Irish woman, uh, she belongs to an Irish family, and every Christmas they sing. And it sounds like singing in the rain or the Trap Family Lodge from, you know, the sound of music. Everybody's singing. If you go to a bar in Ireland and someone starts singing a song, everyone will, will sing along. And you try putting a price on that. You try saying that's worth that much. If you buy that music in a box, it will be worth garbage. And that's the problem I see. Is that we are more inclined to purchase music. To purchase it, indeed. To buy it, rather than to encourage our kids, hey listen, let's make some music together. But it is your right, it is your right, and it is your responsibility to make music. Now, con continuing that line of thought, Hold on, let me make this a little bit more entertaining. That's pretty cool, no? Continuing that line of thought, I don't want you to think that you should buy something which is for free. I don't want you to think that you should buy something you're f that's for free, because you shouldn't. Because I'm running out of time, actually, and, and there's two really important things that I want, two conclusions I wanted to, to, to draw. And the first is that you shouldn't be consuming what belongs to you. Music is a vessel. It is a way of transporting cultural patrimony, human heritage through the centuries. And just because someone says, hey, listen, this is worth 15 euros, buy it in a box, it doesn't mean that that's, mean that's a lot more. It doesn't mean that that's worth a lot more than you're willing to pay. And if you're willing to just become a consumer, well that's okay, but I don't think you should do that to your kids. Because I think your kids should make that music, and it will be just like the natural resources we have squandered already. Where no one really asks the question, you know, oh, what's the worth of the rainforest? You know, some people will say, but no one will really know what it's worth until it's gone. Until it's gone far away. So first thing first, I want you to think that you are human beings and you are not consumers and you have the right to be human and to enjoy things like music rather than consume. And the second point I want to make is because I started studying business not long ago. I did because I'm not going to make a lot of money off of music and I have pressures, financial and otherwise. I studied politology as well but it didn't seem to help out either. Um, so my family said, hey, listen, you should do something useful for your time. And I really love business. Uh, I think it's really interesting. I think if anyone will save the world, it's the entrepreneurs. No, I do. I do. I do. I do believe it, honestly, with all my heart. But there's one thing I hate about business. It's this phrase when they say, think outside the box. Have you heard this nonsense? You heard this nonsense? Oh yeah, it was a very hard problem. No, you should just go and think outside the box. And first, wait, hold on, I don't have much time, so I really need to finish this off. You know, if this clock is right, they're gonna throw me off in a second. Uh, the thing about thinking outside the box, it means that you have a very serious creative handicap. And you need to think outside the box. And because I don't think that money is a good way of establishing value when it comes to music, for example, and I also don't think that you should just limit yourself to be consumers, I would like to encourage you, for the sake of your own freedom, to not only think outside, but to be outside the box. And I think it's terribly hypocritical when a company tells their employees to say, hey, think outside the box, when their marketing department is putting people into little niches segmenting them into little groups, influencing the way they think and they purchase. I mean, that's bull...
the serious kind, you know. Like we say in Colombia, you know, it's not, it's not, it's like not the horse, it's not the dog, it's the, it's the serious stuff. And it's very good because I actually have a bit more time. Hmm. I think business, business management studies will help me with this. Time management, because as a musician I really see the beauty in making music and all these kind of things. But my actual purpose was to show you that I can take music out of its environment. I can bring it to you. I can take music out of the things you expect and I can do, do something different with it. See? I can use it to make a point. It has helped me get laid many times and it has helped many of you as well. It is. I've had people come up to me and they said, you know what, I had to cycle 15 kilometers, to, kilometers today in the rain and if it wasn't for your song, if it wasn't for your song, I wouldn't have made it. That makes it worthwhile for me. And that's it. Next time that someone asks you, please, can you support music? We have a very nice social initiative. Don't just think where you can put your logo on. Think that you're actually creating something important for human beings because you can't measure spiritual capital. It's very difficult to measure so social capital. And me personally, 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 I don't believe in money. I think it's gone a very, very long way from being related to precious metals to just being zeros and ones in some account, in some computer, which can be very easily manipulated, as you may have noticed. But the smiles I get, they are real. And if you live your lives only thinking about those zeros and ones in those accounts, you are missing out on a lot. You are missing out on a lot. And that's my convert. That's like practically all I wanted to say today. I wanted to thank Ted. I wanted to thank you. I wanted to thank the organizers. And just one question. Are you consumers? No, thank you very much.